Welcome back to um, Spider-Man with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Puggy. So today we will um, be firstly hunting down another of Howard's pigeons. So he, and this one is, well, quite high in the sky, right over this building here. So let's go for a bit of a swing, if you don't mind me saying. So yeah, um, uh, that's like quite hard to pin down as well. Much as uh, Spidey is good at swinging through New York, um, but um, yeah, I don't know where this one's going. Seriously, it's right behind this building. Yeah, so can we get any sort of uh, handle on this one? Seriously, all I'm doing is running up a freaking skyscraper. Is it just hanging in the air, just waiting for us? I think it'd be probably looking for food. Seriously, looking for bread or something. That um, bird is right up there. I don't know if it, that's the game being a bit of a dick or something, but that's what it is. Seriously, it's just hanging in midair. And that is weird. That is very weird. But I guess we have to go up this building to get it. Seriously, that is, I guess... You think you've run out of everything unless it's... No! It's in the air! Unless um, that's something else I'm looking for, which could be the case. I'm going very much up to the top of this tower and... Nope, it is still hanging in the air. Yeah, no! That bird's wings will get very tired. It would have to take a break. Seriously. Birds get tired as much as any other... Including pigeons, of course. Get tired after all that flying, seriously. They will need something to eat. Anyway, that being said, now we're going for a bit of a... Actually, quite a nice chase through the, the center of New York City. And there we go! That one was easy! Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. And God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway... Do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data, but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Given that we were able to hack into police towers, yeah, I don't think this will be a problem for Spidey. Anyway, the first one is right over here. And basically what we have to do is aim the thing at the next one. So yeah, this kind of reminds me a bit of Ratchet and Clank for, for some reason, seriously. Um, namely on one of the old Barney moons where we had to line up the things. The difference is here that we have a bit of a time limit. We did not have that on the old Barney moons. Uh, seriously, but, um, yeah. Um, thankfully, Spidey can easily zip to points on these things, so, uh, yeah. Just be wary of the time limit, that's all. Um, pinpointing them? Fairly easy, actually! Seriously, all you need to do is find the red signal coming off them. And there you go. It helps that the controls are pretty, uh, uh, well, excellent in uh, the PS4 Spider-Man game, so, yeah! I love this. I really do love this. So over to the next one. This was a little further away. And uh, yeah. So let's get up on there. If I can. And then in the uh, satellite beam at the next one. Um, I believe you can reset your position. Not easy, but you can. Okay, so let's go over there. Again, follow the signal. Not too hard at all. There are, I think, eight of them? It looks like it, yeah. So, indeed, there's number six. Okay, swing over there, Spidey. Don't fall on the ground, we don't want that. Seriously, and then zip to point on that one. The next one is located... Okay, this one's a bit harder to find. Yes, it is. Um, so, where is it? Yeah, not easy at all, actually. This one looks further away. Um, there it is. Yeah, quite far in the distance, and thankfully the timer does reset. I will give um, them that, and this one actually wasn't that far away. It just looked as if it was. 
Okay, the next one's down there, which is a short distance for us to travel. Seriously. So let's go over there and uh, indeed get on top of here and finish our, our thing off and uh, hopefully get our data upgraded. And what you know, another circuit puzzle. Yep, I thought we were done with this, but no, we're not. This time we have a target voltage of two. Uh, let's hope I don't overload it here. So, um, this one, do I want to point it downwards? I don't know. And now I've gone to minus two, which honestly isn't great. Uh, but there you go, them's the brakes, I guess. So we don't want to send it downwards, because we'd have to put a thing in there. So let's tr try and send it sideways, if you know what I mean. So let's see. No, no, no. That, that don't look good at all. Um, in fact, now we're going to go with an even lower voltage. Um, unless we're going to increase it from here. I don't know how this will work. Seriously, I don't know how this will work. So yeah. So now we're up to a vote. No, that's not increasing the voltage. Okay, now it's back up to zero. Well, now we have to find a way of sending it upwards. So yeah, I think I goofed on this one. Uh, let's see. Um, minus one. Okay. Um, send it to the right. Yep. And then upwards. This one. Um, I hope we can get one up to two. Let's see. That's what we want. It up to two. Okay. No. No. Will this do it? No, I don't think it will. Now, this one sends it left. Hmm, do we have one of those that is sending it left? Yeah, because that will be key here. That will be key. Otherwise, well, I think we're screwed otherwise, so yeah. And then send it to the thing. We still need to change our voltage, however. So let's see, which one can I use to bring it up to two? Uh, so we had one that brought it up to one. So, uh, up to zero, sorry. So yeah, okay, three is a bit over, but we can work with this. Uh, so, uh, let's see, three, no. Three is no good. We need it to be two. We did have one that uh, got it to... Um, thing. So let's use a red one, which lowers it to, well, that level, really. Because three is over. There we go. It's working. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. And finally, for this episode, we are going to do another stealth challenge. So this one is honestly quite tough, because of the, we're doing it on top of buildings, so yeah. Of course, um, when a, uh, one of these mercenaries notices you, it doesn't necessarily mean that the, um, 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 uh, does mean it's game over, basically, but it does mean you have to be careful while you're dealing with them. You can still use a stealth take down to, uh, well, take them down, but that guy just looks like he's walking in place, seriously. So, I say we go behind. There we go. So, yeah, that's one way of doing it. So, let's see. How many of these mercenaries are stationed? So, there are, there's one over there. Okay, so, I could either take one of these out, although there are two of them here. I know that for a fact because I saw another warning sign above the other guy's head. So, yeah. Uh, I'll start by using a um, impact web. Yes, those still are useful. Uh, this guy has a torch, like those other guys down by the docks. So I want to wait for him to turn around and then... Do I want to use the web bomb? Uh, yeah, I guess. And he's disappeared. What the hell? Okay, trap mine then. Let's have him come up here. Yeah, either that or... Um, is facing the other way, so we can easily web it, take, oh, web, t never mind, just take it out by stealth. Although, uh, <laughs> it is weird wearing the, um, Iron Spider suit, seriously, because with the Iron Spider suit, if this were any, anything like real life, Spidey would have been spotted in one second. Okay, who's that guy? 
Is he like one of the um, staff here who works at the, the restaurant and is being held by the mercenaries? I'm going to say yeah. In that case, I feel sorry for him. Anyway, going back to what I said. I have spiders like um, eyes glow in the dark. Yeah, imagine that in real life. He'd be taken down in a second. And um, I don't think be that much of it. Well, it might be still a worthy opponent for... Um, uh, I can't even think now. For Taskmaster. Although he probably would have learned his moves knowing Taskmaster. So, yeah. Anyway, take him down. And not bad. Could have done better than a bronze, but I'm not complaining. Anyway, on the next episode, I don't know, we're still doing side missions after all. So I will see you then. Goodbye!